Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy Boy CJ Slash Corn Man. Today we will be reacting to YouTubers who died while filming videos, man. Make sure you drop a like on the video, comment on the video, what y'all think, subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it. Number one, death by a prank video. If you've been on the internet, I'm sure you've seen the hood prank videos or videos where someone would come up to someone and completely disrespect or violate them for the sake of making a YouTube video. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. But, what'd you call me? What'd you, what'd you call me, pal? Oh, it's you too. You see, the thing is, oh, most of no. these prank YouTubers would pay actors to have people fake these reactions, but Timothy Wilkes decided to keep it authentic, mm. which would ultimately be the last video he filmed. Damn. You see, Timothy Wilkes decided to do a robbery prank on someone, if you can even call that a prank. For real, how do you call a... How do you call... Yeah, that's not a prank. Timothy, together with his friend, went to a parking lot with butcher knives in an attempt to prank a group of guys for their YouTube video. Timothy's friend was filming off in the distance, and as Timothy approached the group of guys, things turned left. The craziest part is they decided to do this prank at night. As yeah, Timothy that's a bad idea. That was dumb. Yelling threats, one of the guys in the group understandably acted fast, Shot so fast that Timothy didn't have the time to tell him it's a prank. Motivated yep. by fear and shock, the 23-year-old David Starnes Jr. in the group quickly fished out his firearm and shot Timothy dead. Damn. No one has been charged with any crime as it has been identified self as self-defense. Yep. Number one, death Damn. from a sponsor video. Greg Bitts, a YouTuber a who was known video. for bodybuilding or athletic type of content. He had over 170,000 subscribers, and he wanted to promote his self-produced energy drinks by making a commercial I should use my 100k subscribers. I should use my 100k subs. Sorry, oh, yeah. via his YouTube channel. You see, the thing is, he decided to promote his energy drink by working out on a train track. Huh? You what? You can already see where this is going. Greg would do multiple exercises on the track, but the one that would kill him is his Superman workout. The Superman workout went like this. Greg would line up in a racer stands on the train track, and once he saw the train coming towards him, he began to run. Bro. The goal was to outrun the train, or possibly get the illusion of outrunning the train for his YouTube channel. As he was running on the track, the train started to catch up to him. Witnesses had reported the train honking its horn multiple times, but Greg just kept chugging along, no pun intended. Shockingly, the train... I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is some dumbass shit right here. <laughs> this is very stupid. It was too fast for Greg, and it ended up hitting him, knocking him off the side of the track. Damn. What's very ironic is that the purpose of working out on the train track and outrunning the train That's was so to show what stupid. was possible if you consumed his new energy drink. Number 3. Dumbest Son on YouTube Death Mona Lisa was running a YouTube channel whereby she often recorded vlogs and talk about her daily routines and other mundane activities. But, due to her boyfriend, they eventually transitioned from innocent vlogs to stunts evolving shooting guns into one's chest. What? Her boyfriend changed the way the channel operated. Not only did he change their joint channel, he also made a channel himself called Damn It Boy. It is on his channel where he came up with the very dangerous idea to place a thick book against his chest and- I remember this. Got a desert eagle. Uh, yeah, I, I, I heard about this one. Y'all probably now have too. Fire a gun at him, hoping that the 50 caliber bullet would hit the book and never go through to his chest. Word got around and 30 people showed up to witness this. Yep, crazy it was an audience. Including their very young daughter. They also had an ambulance on standby. At first, Mona Lisa opposed the idea, but after several persuading and nagging from her boyfriend, she heeded to it. On that fateful day, Pedro pressed the thick book against his chest, and Mona Lisa fired the bullet. Against his own expectations, the bullet penetrated the book, going all the way through and straight to Pedro's chest, sending him down on the ground. Seeing this, Mona Lisa ran up to him, panicking to assess the situation. I love making YouTube videos, but I'll never do no stupid stuff like this for a YouTube video. Hell no. On reaching him, he would tell her his last words. Stop, babe. Stop, babe. Stop. As his life faded away. Onlookers Stop quickly made was the his last call, words. And the police arrived at the scene in a jiffy. Mona Lisa was then arrested and charged with second degree murder and was also banned from ever owning a firearm again. Damn, it's not her fault. 
Well, it is her fault, but it's not her fault. Number four, YouTube water death. Jacob's YouTube love with water, water made him to become a prolific swimmer, thus motivating him to take advantage of it by making YouTube videos out of it. This was a big success for him as his channel garnered millions of views. But as he was carving a career out of his YouTube channel, one video caused things to take a bitter turn. One day, Jacob decided to get a taste of the Carnso Pool in the estuary of River Hale in Cornwall. He visited this whirlpool with his 70-year-old friend David Rain, and despite there being a sign that warned them against swimming in the pool, Jacob just didn't care. He wore a horse mask, which he used as a comedy prop, and jumped into a whirlpool. He showed extreme excitement by laughing with each rotation. He Dude, moved closer and closer no to the center of that whirlpool, and then slowly made his way out. He did this a couple more times, almost as if he was teasing death. The sad part is, as he was doing that, his friend recording said, I think we have enough footage, almost as if he knew what was to come. The action that seals his fate was when he decided to get one last shot for his YouTube video. He decided to try and film beneath the surface of the whirlpool. When Jacob went underneath, he was sucked into the 15-foot tunnel. Jacob would later emerge at the end of the tunnel on the other side of the pool. His friend Rain quickly dragged his body to the side. A fisherman in the wow. area immediately contacted emergency services, and Jacob was airlifted to Royal Cornwall Hospital in Truro, where he took his last breath. Damn. Number 5. Tractor YouTube Video Death Nishu Deshwal was a 22-year-old Indian YouTuber with 1.5 million subscribers, was brutally mangled to death by a tractor after it tilted Dang. backwards as his pals filmed doing a wheelie. Oh, this wow. was trying to perform a very dangerous maneuver. A willy on a tractor is insane. Balance on its hind wheels. As he was doing so, the heavy motor tipped back, forcing the mass of wheels to roll forward, causing the head to continue tipping back and back. The young man was then forcefully thrown backwards towards the ground as the tractor flipped on top of him, leaving him getting squashed to death. Oh my god. Number six. Gravity plus views equals death. Albert Derland was a popular YouTuber and vlogger with over a hundred thousand followers on both Instagram and YouTube. Okay. He decided to go to the mountains in Italy to record a video for his followers. The mountain called Mount Cicada was perfectly positioned in such a way that one could get an amazing view of the city, but those same views could also be your last if you're not careful. Albert just couldn't afford to miss a good recording of the stunning views in his surroundings. And, as he was filming a video of the surrounding area, the young boy accidentally slipped and fell 656 feet below to where he met his death. Oh my the rescue god! The rescue was then sent to save him, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. Yeah, you ain't surviving seven, that. Ice Lake YouTube Dang. Death. Tor Ekhoff Apeter died five days after posting a video called I Am Not Dead, I'm 57 Today. This is also the last video on his channel, too, which is eerie. The only good thing you can say about this is he died doing what he loved. What Being he that do? he lived in Norway, his content mainly revolved around his making content in snow. What do you do? Tor Ekhoff would get undressed with no shirt and no pants, Don't just tell his me. underwear, oh, and he would man. run around on the frozen lake. Did he get frostbite? He would also dive into the lake with just his underwear on. We're talking 30 degrees Fahrenheit max. But Tor was a beast, and he didn't die from being frozen to death. Oh. He actually died by jumping into a frozen lake that wasn't all the way frozen, ironically. You see, one day, Tor Ekhoff set up his it. camera, got undressed, and he jumped into another half-frozen lake filming another one of his YouTube videos. As he swam out to the frozen part of the lake, he climbed on top of it. But this icy part of the lake wasn't fully frozen to the point that it could hold his weight. He ended up falling through the ice with no way to escape, eventually causing him to drown. Number 8. Three deaths, one YouTube video. He couldn't swim? There was a group of three people who ran a YouTube channel called High on Life. They posted videos of their travels adventures. One day, the trio decided to visit Shannon Falls in British Columbia on one Tuesday just to have a time of their life and to record videos for their channel. The individuals were with a group of friends who that afternoon were enjoying a peaceful swim at the top of Shannon Falls. Okay. Everything was okay at first, and just like any other day they usually had, they played around in the water and swam with immense joy and excitement. 
Okay. Events suddenly turned for the worst when one of the members named Scraper slipped and fell into a pool 98 feet deep. Dang. Seeing that Scraper had slipped away, Gamble and Liak decided to go and save her, but upon doing so, they, they were fall also too? washed away. Yep. Emergency services were called to the scene, That's and it took the tough. rescue team nearly a whole day to complete the complex recovery of all the three people who had just drowned to death that day. Dang. Number 9. Another train death. On February 15th, to... 2012, James had the genius idea of creating a channel named Stop the Hobo, which grew to nearly 11,000 subscribers who enjoyed watching him hop on various trains. With unmatched quirkiness, confidence, and ego, James was known to be an adventurous person and one who loved to travel. His life was quite a sad one, but James still had to make a show out of it. At one point, he was in a very serious financial crisis that made him become homeless, and so he decided to turn to train hopping as a means of adventure and escape. Okay. While doing this, he would often document his journeys through videos he posted on his YouTube channel. On 9th November 2017 in Baltimore, as he was doing his hopping stunts, his bag got tangled in the train, and James was dragged by an Amtrak to death. Oh my god! He was god. by the Amtrak operator. Rest in peace to everyone who was mentioned in the- What the fuck? Bro got dragged by a train? Oh my god, bro. That's gonna be the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below which death do y'all think was the worst. It's your boy Corn. I'm out. Peace.